Alrighty, we've come to do a couple of nights out of uh, Elam Beach. Uh, I think some locals call it maybe Elam Beach, or it's called uh, Eddie's Camp. That's where we're staying the night. So we'll show you guys that uh, shortly. It's an absolute epic spot out here uh, on Love the it. beach, and there's four drive tracks literally uh, in your backyard right there. So it's all <laughs> private property. If you want to come out for a, uh, a day trip, you pay like 10 bucks a vehicle and you can go out. Uh, I got the Cape Bed for that. Is plenty of beach driving and stuff you can go and check out. So. Definitely, it's usually what people you do when they're coming up to the Cape. We've uh, obviously just finished the Cape, so we're coming back down uh, for a look. It's definitely worth coming out here. And I've uh, got a couple of water crossings uh, straight into it. <laughs> I don't want to scratch your car, it's probably not the best uh, car, so they're pretty bloody scratching real, uh, real like sticks too, so it's definitely gonna, definitely gonna put some marks yeah. on it, <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely overgrown a little bit, but it's uh, absolutely epic out here, just the, the sands around you and the views and that, it is all so awesome already. to a guy just before he was uh sat here with his partner he's like if you see a hole with like a bit of a way around it he's like don't don't think you're 12 years old and go through the bulk hole there's a big bloody hole in there and he must have got stuck well, there for a dual cab. yeah he's in a little jewel cab and got stuck there for listen to me he's in a little jewel cab like <laughs> he's in a he's in a jewel cab but um yeah he, he got bloody wedged in there and had to yeah he's about to um he's there for quite a while had to winch him about to winch himself out but someone come along and um that's why I sort of, I'm like, I wasn't sure if that was it. That's why I sort of just drove in slow. There's a bit of a hole there. And I'm like, yeah, yeah I reckon this sharp, could be it. Yeah, kind of like a sharp entrance and exit. Yeah, that's why I sort of hit a bit of speed there. And yeah, there was definitely a uh, bit of a hole there. So that one could uh, most definitely catch you out. Even with bush barriers, this is uh, this is quite, quite painful. She's a big girl trying to go down these uh, tracks. This is a track that we when we out Colorado last time. Just a little after that hole we done as before, just after that we got stuck and uh, had to winch ourselves. So we kind of then we had to turn around and go back through it all. So yeah, we didn't come through this way. Last no, so I'm actually this is kind of why I'm just sticking through this because this is something I don't even know what the hell's out here, but just want to conquer this uh, this track. <laughs> Man, that stunk like horse. Shit. It was so bad. Man, this water stinks around here. <laughs> Never, uh, it's hard to trust the old black water around here and you don't want to be uh, 
walking through it too much. We're not far from the ocean here, and it uh, looks very crocky. Alrighty, I've thrown my uh, stick in here. It uh, looks pretty firm, so it just, uh, just looks a bit scary, I think. <laughs> Well, we made it out to Cape Bedford and it is worth every single scratch to get out of this view out here, the ocean and this massive just cliff range here, literally just driving along and it's just no one else out here. Just, you can see the coloured sands, the mountains and that in the, uh, in the background there. Distance. What, it is just absolutely magic. You can know uh, in the early seasons after rain that track would be uh, pretty different. Full, full of water, full <laughs> yeah, of holes. Pretty different, pretty full on, but uh, it's climbing up here now and I can be my about to find a spot that cooks uh, hamburgers or what. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty steep. <laughs> Perfect uh, place for a cheeky tin and a burger, but it's probably, uh, probably one of the tightest three-point turns and probably one of the sketchiest ones I've uh, ever done. It's actually kind of slippery too. Don't. It's okay. Don't don't, don't stress out. Definitely don't want your front wheels going over there. <laughs> nah, we're all good. Uh, you actually scared? Yes, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> it's done, it's done, <laughs> it's over. Do you want to stay up here or do you want to go down there? No, I'm fine up here. Look at that. There you wow. go, darling. Thank you so much. Brioche buns and all. <laughs> That's <Get> magic. <laughs> well, when we rolled into Cooktown after the PDR, we found a car wash in Cooktown and Josh gave it a good scrub. Now, it's pretty much dirty again, so he's going to have to give it another wash when we get to Cooktown again, aren't you? No, it's not that bad. I just want to get, I just want to get all the red stuff off. Yeah, all the, the red dirt from the, Cape, yes. Yeah, so I want to get the cans. It'll be a good final polish and it'll be looking... Yeah, that bad. massive car wash in cans. It's, oh, so it's keen a for that. blessing after Cape York. <laughs> Yesterday, up on that hill right there is where we drove up to. So today we've come out uh, to the other side of the beach and it's just beautiful out here. The sun's out, the water is crystal clear. There's a little rock pool bit yeah, It's in crystal here. clear, so you can see there's, not, there's nothing in there. So George no. had, a, had a little swim. But you went to go to the other end there and the, the police were down there, this thing fenced off. It was like a... Um... Well, no, no. We, we were driving up to the beach that way and there was this older looking full drive with a swag in the back and it had like a little fire and we were like that's the police up here <laughs> we were like what what's going on here anyway it was and it, we saw the back of his shirt said police we we're like oh yeah so we yeah. pulled there's like a up. washed up like i don't know what the hell like a um locator Some, thing no, that's in a ship uh, it's meant to send off a smoke single signal but then the second the second signal that didn't go off, so it's it was... meant to explode and send it to the yeah. bottom of the ocean. So it's a canister full of some, yeah, chemicals and that. So yeah, yeah someone from Townsville's coming up to dispose of it, probably, which is yeah, pretty, pretty new. Pretty so cool. 
we'll come down this end just to check it out and there's a massive 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 uh hill climb just behind us here so we're gonna um check that out i think it'll be a pretty good view up the top there but there's not not much you can sort of go look at this this way it's just um, nice. It's a nice scenic drive yeah, out here. Just beautiful. Nice scenic yeah. to get out of here. But uh, yeah, we'll go for a look. G'day, guys. We hope you're enjoying today's episode. We want to quickly interrupt because we have an extremely exciting announcement to make for you guys. As you would have seen, we're wearing our Traveling Campus merch. As we've been going around Australia for quite a while now, and the extremely exciting announcement is we now have this available to you guys. So we'd love to see you out there. This is our Team Traveling Campus range. Love to see you guys out there exploring, for driving in our gear. They're available right now on our website. So we've got men's, women's, kids, tees, and even some hoodies. So you can jump on right now and shop and they'll be posted straight to you. Also on our website, we've got heaps of blog posts. So how we travel with Georgia, so traveling with a dog. We've got all about our car and our van. And also we've got how we travel full time. So if that's something you've been interested in, you can jump in and check it out and we can even help you if that's something you want to do. Exactly. And look, we don't ask too much from you guys at all, but look, we'd love you to take just 10 seconds to make sure because we've seen the stats and a lot of you guys that have watched frequently aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So please just jump across, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell. That means you won't miss a, a one minute of traveling camps. And look, give the video a like, jump in the comments. We love to engage with you guys. So look, just let us know that your favorite takeaway, your favorite part of the episode, chuck something in there, we'll get back to you and we can engage with you guys in there as that's what we're trying to do is build a traveling campus community of all traveling like-minded people uh, as we've been going around we've been meeting so many of you guys it's been absolutely what amazing we absolutely love that's what we've been all about so again guys back to the episode thanks so much oh we got a nice uh, massive hill climb here there's an easy sort of way around to the road to it uh right around to the right i did just go probably nearly three quarters of the way up the other one the left. uh to the left line there but at the top it's hard to get Pretty loose and pretty off campus I actually uh lots of ruts. Yeah, not being with anyone else, I just uh I decided to back down it, which was uh not too bad, thank god. But um Same yeah, this option. looks uh this is steeper than it freaking looks, that's yes. for sure. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, get it down never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Damn, it is high up here. Yeah. <laughs> I knew this would happen someday. You can ask my day one day. Cloudy days turn the sun rays. Well, it looks like this definitely takes us to the uh, how you get to the other side of the uh, beach here. So, it looks like there's no one down here. These views are just epic. I think we're definitely able to find a uh, spot to cook up a bit, of, a bit of lunch. It looks like there's a fair bit of beach you can drive down here, which, uh, yeah, we've never been over yet. So, extremely excited to check this out. I'm a different car keys. I'm the life of the party. Might buy a bike like a Harley. Totally do so gnarly. God got me, can't harm me. I got armor and an army. Well, there's rusted, and then there is rusted. This, uh, Old car here must have been here for so friggin' long. You can actually see on the engine there, it's got Nissan written on it, but like, just like leaf springs, like I don't know how old this thing would be, like what model would be or whatever, but man, it is. I think that's been there for a very, very long time. You can tell by the, <laughs> the rust and what it does to it, but that's kind of cool to see. We just pulled up next to this crystal clear flowing creek. It's just absolutely beautiful. No one else is around. George has jumped in for a swim. She's loving it. Josh is just cooking up some lunch now. <laughs> so I reckon this will be us for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. 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 No, that's awkward. <laughs> 